Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the modded character streak. We are jumping in again and this time I'm gonna go as the unbidden. I think this is a character that I honestly don't remember how to play or what they do or anything about them, but I'm intrigued. Um, let's, 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 let's read about them first. One second. Okay, with this guy, we get these little Lemmageddon Wisps and we take them to the next floor in order to make them into real items. And also, we can hold an unlimited amount of active items and swap between them using control. So, pretty interesting character. Obviously, um, a bit risky on the start with the HP. But we do start with pretty good damage, so that makes up for that at least, which is kind of nice. Just got off the back of a work call that went pretty well, so I'm, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood. I'm going to have to, uh, next week, go to a, a private school and do a bunch of testing with our, with our software. So, I'm preparing for that, and we just had a call with them. And like I said, it went reasonably well. But yeah, so we want to keep glowing hourglass our lemma get and whisper live. Um, ooh, we also don't want to get hit by enemies shooting at us. That was really, really stupid of me. I don't know why uh, I just kind of stood there and let that happen. I'll be honest, I don't really know what, what I did there. But it's uh doesn't bird well for the future is what I'll say. Doesn't bird well for the future, especially when we've got these sort of enemies in our midst. I don't like it. I don't like it. Right, um... Item room, I'm hoping, is good. To be fair, I don't know why I didn't glowing hourglass on the room that I got hit on. Because now I now I can't glowing hourglass and it makes things all a bit harder. I would like a bomb. That would be really nice to get that heart there. Uh, but a golden key is not bad. Although I don't really know what is the good use of a golden key on the first floor. But anyways, either way, I hope you guys are uh, having a good day as always. I am, as I said. Um... What's, what, what are you guys doing at work or school right now? That's my question to you. What's, what's, what's sort of the big thing in your work slash school life? Um, it'd be interesting to know. Yeah, item rooms here. We did not get a bomb, unfortunately, which I'm a little annoyed about. But we did get this, which we got last time, which proved to be pretty good. It was weirdly laggy last time, but, um, yeah, we can, we can use this to do some theoretical very good damage. I'm hoping that's the case. Uh, but yeah, I've set myself up for failure a little bit here. Oh no. We also got a boss that I'm not particularly good at. But hopefully I can just do this and it'll absolutely wreck him. Yes, <laughs> it did and we got little Steven for that as well. Okay, so and then I believe if we go to the next floor, all three of those items will become regular. By the way, I don't know if Glowing Hourglass is something this character starts with, or if that was from an Eden's Blessing I had or something. I'm not entirely sure, but Glowing Hourglass still seems to be a lemma. Get and Wisp and hasn't become realized yet, so this is bad. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Okay, well, the streak starts again already. That's a bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, this guy just, just just seems to start with the glowing hourglass. I've just If I get hit this time, I've just got to use it. Uh, I didn't don't know why I didn't last time. It was pretty much the reason I died there. Um, very much should have uh, should have used it a bit more readily. But as I said, while we're while we're testing out new modded characters I haven't really used before, and also in the early days like sub ten streak, I'm not gonna particularly worry about losing the streak. Um, I'm just gonna try and do our best. But the thing is with this streak, it's going to be much harder. The characters like this one have some weird gimmicks and are a bit odd and a bit harder to play on average. So. That's something we've just got to kind of get used to and prepare for and realize that we can't be too precious about our streak because it's it's somewhat fleeting. It's somewhat fleeting, the streak. Um, it's a little annoying to to lose my one streak immediately, but we can, we can rebuild. We can rebuild. So that's good. So that is an active item, obviously. That was horrible. Uh, so that was an exciting, obviously. What I'm going to do is, because it's an active and I don't want to lose it, I'm going to leave it there for now. And then uh, I'm going to grab it when the floor ends. Because there's not much point in grabbing it right now. Can, can we not with these guys? These enemies are so bloody annoying. Luckily, they, they're they somewhat prone to killing themselves on all of these big metal blocks, which is easier on, our, on us. But yeah, this, this character starting with only one heart is definitely a bit sketchy. And I think my misuse of golden, uh, glowing hourglass was really my biggest downfall. I think that this character kind of starts with that for a very, very good reason. Um, it seems pretty powerful as a starting item, to be honest, but like I said, it's it's a good reason. I like the fact that he gets the uh, the blade pink as well. Good, good. 
We get some HP there, which we won't get until the next floor. Um, and then, yeah, we'll try and do the rest of the, the, the floor first. Because I just, I want to be min-maxing as much as possible on these runs. But at the same time, I don't want to be losing my Lemmageddon Wisps to bullshit. So, room like that, we're going to undo. We're going to undo very swiftly. I need to be very, very careful. It's just, it's super easy when you're playing as a character like this to, for things to go wrong. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, I'll be honest. I have absolutely no idea. I really don't like the, uh, the re-sprite of Pride. I mean, it's good, but it's sketchy. Um, Apple of Pride, though, is very nice for the extra stats for a little bit. Until we next get hit, at least. Which, we don't know when we'll be, but we can try and keep this thing alive for a little bit. And hope for the best. Good, good extra key. Right, I'm not going to go to that other room there, because it just seems like the a good a good way to get myself hurt. Uh, go to this one here. We'll press these buttons again. Good. I didn't realize the buttons would be the exact same with glowing hourglass. I don't know why I thought any different. But yeah, now when we go to the next floor, we'll now have three active items that we can swap between. Two of which are, are potentially pretty useful. Um, yeah, so... These ones stay as Lemmageddon Wisps. Okay. So, that's kind of interesting to know. Glowing Hourglass is not going to be with us forever by the looks of it. We have to keep a, keep a tight wrap on Glowing Hourglass if we want to keep using it. But, we did get two other actives here. And I, I really like the idea of Lemmageddon Wisps being actives. I don't know why that isn't a, a thing in the, uh, the vanilla game. It would be cool if it was. But yeah, just trying to keep them safe is good. But also, another good thing is that... Having Lemmageddon Wisps does give us uh, a level of protection against uh, incoming damage because they, they kind of act as, as a sort of barriers and shields to uh, enemy shots. So in that regard, uh, things are things are pretty good too. Good, good. Um, yeah, why not? Probably should have used that on the boss, but oh well. Ooh, extra damage. Rather nice. That's actually some... Base level of damage there. Right. Poison Cloud will uh, set these guys off. Good, good. Very, very good active to have. Bob's Rotten Head is uh, extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. I really like it. What would be really good to get, there's an item in the shop called the Flechette that increases the health of Wisps. That would be invaluable. That would be super, super useful to see. Yeah, that kind of sketched me out then, because I destroyed the poop and not killed the enemy. Okay, good. We got a lot of damage right now. Obviously, Apple of Pride is helping with that. Dead bombs. Plus five bombs spawn orbital burn spares for each killed enemy. By the explosion, 25% chance to spawn a friendly burny, burn fly, big burny, or black burny re um, revenant. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Um, I reckon I do take that now. Why not? And we'll uh, we'll go for our boss. But yeah, now that I'm understanding things a little more, this guy seems like we can we can get a good run going. He's just kind of one of those Judas esque characters that has a little bit of a rough time right off the bat. Uh, but glowing hourglass gives him a little bit more leeway than than you'd expect. Dude, we love this we love this item so much. We get cat and nine tails here, which is real good. And then all of those passive items become a reality on the next floor. I think it's a really, really cool idea for a, for a character. There's some sort of strategy and risk as to when you take things. You don't want to take everything straight away in case you lose it. It's kind of like playing as Tainted Bethany, but with a bit more risk associated, a bit more uh, reason to keep your wisps alive. You're not getting normal items. Or she is. Th those are the, the difficulty there. When you're sliding by an enemy, when you're sort of trying to squeeze by an enemy, you, you risk losing a lot of wisp health doing that. So it's, it's always a little bit sketchy when I have to do that. Good. That's probably worth a key, to be honest. There's a lot going on in there. I'd like to go to the shop as well. Like I said, I'd, I'd love to uh, get that flushette, round, uh, flushette thing, whatever it's called. Yeah, enemies that jump towards us are, are going to be the biggest risk to our, uh, our Lemmageddon Wisps. Floor uh, bosses, mini bosses that increased at HP, but also drop more hearts on death. I'm going to take that in case they do drop soul hearts. I don't know if they will. 
I, I, I honestly kind of doubt that they will, but I think it's worth the uh, worth the test. Just remember, we've got glowing hourglass to use if we need it. Can't forget about that. Now, these sort of enemies are the worst because they get really close to us. Half a soul heart there is lovely. I don't know what that healing icon was about there. I know this is a big risk here using this, and in fact, it was awful. It they all went the wrong way. They all went the wrong way. Of course, I went to shoot the wrong thing there. Sometimes he pops up for such a short amount of time, it's very annoying. There you go, we got him. Uh, we got Spoiled Milk, that is a tears up. Isaac can shoot special tears that will slow down enemies or bounce off of them. That seems very good. Um, and then Perfection is probably worth taking right now, to be honest. I probably shouldn't have taken that item yet, but you got to remember if we lose our Wisps, we can always Glowing Hourglass, as long as Glowing Hourglass isn't the Wisp we lose sort of thing. Um, I'll ah, bomb this, why not? We'll get a card out of it. It's a Temperance, unfortunately, which is virtually useless, but I guess we can um, bomb it at some point. Oh my god, saying virtually useless there, it just got in my head. I, like, over the weekend, um, last weekend, I went to a, a cabin with my friends in the Lake District. So it was really fun, but for some reason, I got um, I got Virtual Insanity by Jamiroquai in my head, and like I was humming it the entire time, and it was getting to the point where I was pissing people off, but it just wouldn't go away. It's a good song. Jamiroquai is just kind of great. It just makes me think of Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite's a good film. Do people still watch, like, like people that sort of were, were born, like, after the sort of 2003, 2004, people still, like, watch stuff like Napoleon Dynamite? Is that, is that a film that people don't even, don't even, like, know what it is? It's just a classic. It's so good. <laughs> it's so bizarre, but so good. It's, it's, it's one of those films that's like super low budget and super weird, but it just it just makes it so special. And it's so quotable. It's so like there's so many things, so many parts of it that are like I don't know, I say I say on like at least a weekly basis. There's a bit where he like he he's got like a like they have like a llama farm and he like fucking throws like a casserole to the uh, to the llamas and he goes, Teeny fat lard, come get your dinner. And for some reason that for me is like also, just just realised this is a golden telepill, a uh, golden telepill, a golden horse pill. I don't think I've ever had a golden horse pill. I should probably not spam it until the next floor. We got a, a big old look down, which is a bit of a shame. I'm really hoping we get some pretty saucy uh, balls of steel for the for the extra hearts. Right, what we got going on in here? I mean, yeah, I guess it's not good, but we'll take it. And then shop wise, no full shit, but we did get some extra pennies. Hell yes. I did not want to drop either of those. I guess I could buy this to just to add it to my roster, right? Like, why not? Right, let's go and then we'll, we'll start using the golden pill on the next floor, I think. Actually, should I use it on this floor? Yeah, because I've got because I've got glowing hourglass at the minute and many charges. I think it's worth just using it on this floor. We should keep going this way. Go back to that second secret room. Why not? Phantom Pain's doing some stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Right, there's that. Ooh, that just, I forgot that, that would just open. That was rather nice. Good, Kind of glad I came back here now. Give me a hug, bad boy. Lemon juice. Bombs are key. Shot speed up. Adult transformation. Health up. Shot speed up. Androzy. Io wizard. Shot speed up again. Dude, that is a massive tears down there. Holy fuck.
Ah, uh, there's the tears up. Lovely. How is this still going? My god. I forgot how crazy the relax pill is. It just keeps going. This is one relax. God damn, that was one relax. Oh, I got like double lemon juice and my tears are fucking tiny now. See if we can't get much out of this. Apparently not. I don't like all this spider unboxing bullshit. Maybe drop my goddamn active item. Give me that pill. Speed up. It just keeps going, people. Oh, God. Actually, explosive diarrhea is kind of good here. Because we should hopefully get some Bernie boys out of this. Or not. Or not. Infested's a pretty good one to grab. Oh, really? Fuck you. I lost my Apple of Sodom and my fucking perfection. God damn it. Well, to be fair, actually, actually, actually. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Once I'm not paralyzed for an entire fucking minute, can I just do this and undo? It does undo all of this room, unfortunately. I think it'll all come together in the same order. I think it's all in the same order. Good, good. I still want to go back to the big rooms. Oh yeah, energy again. There's our relax. Not that I think I'm going to get anything out of it any different this time, but might as well keep it going. It's just so crazy. Suppository again. Explosive diarrhea again, forgot about that. Infested again. Right. Yes, didn't get hit by it this time. I'm gonna wait for paralysis here. This is wild. I don't think I've ever had a golden horse pill before, so this is kind of interesting. Another relax. Oh my lord. Where's my petrified poop game? You're gonna have me having all these turds. Be nice to have something to show for it. Dude, my tears are so tiny. I'm excited. Yuck again. Thanatosis. Big death. Bad gas. Dude, this is like the craziest fucking. Oh my god, it's like the craziest fucking golden pill ever. It just keeps going. Tears down again. God damn it. I'll keep getting tears down. Another relax. We don't have space in this room for the relax. Pretty fly, lovely. Finally, it's over. Okay, unfortunately, we got a pretty hefty tears down towards the end there, which isn't ideal. Um, but it is what it is. Our tears are also absolutely minuscule now. And then also, if we come over here, we've got... Some pills. Might as well take some of the regular pills and see what's what. Luckily, we got all the HP out of that. Oh no, our health down. Whatever will I do? I can't get through the door because it feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Please end. There you go. Right. Okay. 
That was unexpected, but pretty beautiful. I'm actually going to just chill in this room for a little bit and let a lot of these guys end their life because I'm getting kind of annoyed by all of them. The spider unboxing thing is not, not my favorite. Right, there you go. Just lags the game like crazy. We got a, quite a lot of good stuff here. Quite a lot of good stuff. I guess I'll be taking that now as well. Okay, down we go. Cool, two items given to us fully. Lovely, I might as well pop this. Is it going to do anything? Actually, yeah. And it, to be fair, it, it acquires our bomb effects too, which is kind of nice because, as you can see, ooh, I think we just lost Glowing Hourglass. Yes, we did. Glowing Hourglass is gone, but I feel like we've reached the point now where we don't need it too bad. So I don't feel so bad for losing it anymore. just want to go as long as I can without getting hit. Yeah, that instantly killed you. Good. I just like having my Bob's rotten head to do insane damage whenever I can. I do not like you guys, however. You guys are cheeky. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Doot, doot. Doot, doot. Hollowed ground. Not really what we're looking for, I'll be honest. Hollowed ground isn't great, but we'll take it. Be good if we had like a Phantom Pains pill, but otherwise not so good. Steven Floor, a guaranteed good boss item. And the ability to trade some of the items we already have. Although, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of bad items right now, so the trading of items isn't ideal. Balls of Steel. I did lose a, a Wisp in this room, but I'm not sure which Wisp I lost. I don't think it was anything that, that, uh, dip, uh, that good, to be fair. Otherwise, I think I'd miss it more. I think I'd know about it otherwise. I'm liking these stunning tears though. These stunning tears are really nice. This uh, boss item that we got, this new one from Sacred Dreams, I think it was. Seems pretty good. We've got quite a lot of new items on the roster at the moment. Another chest there. At the minute, perfection is popping off. Balls of Steel is really good to hold in our back pocket for if things go a bit skew if. Luckily, there's some fires in here that'll take care of a lot of these enemies. So unfortunately, they are in the corner, so it won't be a lot, a lot, but... Ah, I lost Bob's Rotten Head! No! The actives are pretty easy to lose, unfortunately. But we wouldn't have an active if not, so I don't mind too much. It's like we'd be leaving behind otherwise. Gotta make sure not to lose the one you want, like I just did. The hell's that? Five seconds after entering an uncleared room, Isaac screams in pain, damaging and knocking back nearby enemies. That seems intriguing, at least. <laughs> I'll take it, just because it sounds odd. Five seconds is quite a while. Most rooms don't really last that long. But this one seems like it will. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, that's decent enough. I mean, it's only going to really do anything if enemies are really close to us, so it's not going to be super valuable. But it's something. It's certainly something. I like how teeny tiny our tears are. I got a lot of lemon drops there. Damn it. I lost th this active as well now. But this is just an active, so we keep it for now, I think. It's just become an active that we keep. Where on earth is the fucking item room? <laughs> I'm wandering around for ages. That's the shop. Question. Qu -qu -qu question marks. What's going on in here? I mean, yeah, I'll take that. Doot, doot. Doot, doot. I think I want this trinket. Oh, wait. Does, does this actually have a doubled effect? Spawns a wave of rocks in addition to screaming. Yeah, boy. Modded trinkets that have golden effects. Mwah. If you make a modded trinket and don't add a golden effect, 
It's a big sad for everyone involved. Good stuff. We've still got perfection. Unfortunately now though, we are completely out of uh, glowing hourglass, so we cannot be using that to save our, save our ass when we eventually do get hit. But for now, I think this run's pretty good. Got some good stuff. Managed to secure, to secure most of our items. But not have, having less lemma getting wisps is worse because now we're at more danger of, uh, yeah. Now we're at more danger of um, getting hit ourselves because we don't have as much things to block shots that are incoming towards us. So it does increase our risk a little bit, definitely. Dude, that's so fucking good with the uh, with the golden version. We should probably utilize it more to destroy rocks like that. It's pretty good at destroying rocks. Okay, I can just kill you now. Uh, I mean, can I can I get you to open these? Yes, I can. Come over here, good sir. Ah, oh, you're stuck behind that now. Come on. Get one of them. Okay. I mean, he, he did it eventually, but not what I was expecting. That's an explosive, sir. I would rather you not. Unidentified pills. What, what am I meant to be shooting here? Him or the eye? I don't know. Him, apparently. Ooh, double luck upgrades. Nice. Luck up. Soleon of Apollyon. Butter doesn't have a golden effect either. So many things without golden effects. Um. 2.5% chance to fire a special spectral tier which teleports enemies to a different location. Chances rolled again. That'd be good if the effect was at all interesting to me, but I do not want to be teleporting enemies. That seems bad. That seems overall not good. How did that not kill you? God damn it. Surely that goes through your hardened exterior. We got a golden penny in here somewhere. I'm just gonna let this this room do its thing first. Let them all out. Let the bird out of its cage. Take care of you guys. No, don't destroy my wispies. They all I have left. Luckily, I have plenty of HP backed up and ready to go. Do not, do not, do not, do not like this situation, though. I would very much like it. Are you serious? Kill it, killing enemies with the bombs gives you burn orbs. It gives you one per enemy killed. That's not very good. I thought it would give you, like, three per enemy killed or something. Or, like, one to three. Maybe, maybe, it, maybe it is one to three and I just got unlucky. I don't know. God, that room was tedious. Ooh, nice heart there, I'll take that. Don't know why I decided to go into this room, because it was just a transitional room with nothing attached to it. Huzzah. Right, we're finding a lot of floors where the item room is not, not so easy to find. I'm, I don't know what I'm hoping for trinket-wise, but I'm sure we can get something good. I mean, this this thing for right now is good, but the five-second wait time is a pretty high amount of time to wait. It seems like it's activating in most rooms, though, to give it credit. To give it some credit. Champion, careful, careful. He's explosive. We're all good. I like having this Magneto as well, to be fair. It's actually helping with a lot of runes. Um, nah, we won't take that. Unless we can smelt the one that we currently have. I'm, I'm liking the stunning effect as well. It seems to be 
a very high chance to stun, but I think that's because we have high luck. I said by high luck, we have 24 luck. We have very, very high luck, so... And in here, we've got Broken Murdom and a candle, which you can't afford. Broken Murdom, pretty goddamn good. Oh, do you know? I went to Five Guys, like, two days ago. And it was amazing. Five Guys always is. But the chips are, like, insanely salty, and you get a fucking ton of them. And I, I ate though, I ate all of them. So I had a ton of really salty chips. And my, my lips, my lips have been fucking, like, cracked and, like, ch like, proper chap, like, ever since. Really sore. Because the salt just, like, pulled all the moisture out. Also, for f can we be fucking real for once and not have me go the entire wrong way to the fucking item room? <laughs> I, I don't want this video to be two hours long because I'm fucking walking back and forth. At least we got plenty of speed ups. But yeah, Broken Murdom's going to be really nice here as well. Why did I do that? It's golden as well. A second big fan. Ooh, we got this room. Goddamn, we're about to get rich as a bitch. This 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 rock is just absolutely obscene in how much money it gives you. It gives you, like, way, 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 way too much <laughs> for the cost of what is one bomb. It's, it's, it's definitely too much. Right. Oh, where we go. We are to leave this floor. But so far, I'm really enjoying this character. This character is a lot of fun. Very intriguing and got some interesting parts to its play style. Unfortunately, we can no longer basically insta-kill bosses like we were before, which I'm a little sad about. Oh, dude, that, that, that blast just fucked up my bomb then. Damn it, we finally lost perfection. And took some more hits. I've got so many bombs that I'm trying to use them wherever I can here. We just lost our active item as well. Not very happy about that. Oh, rubber ducky! I don't even know what the rubber ducky does. That's new to me. No active item for us anymore. Oh, no, we do get to keep this. Hey, the rubber ducky. Okay, the rubber duck gave us 20 luck. So I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the duck does. But what I'm going to imagine it is, is basically just like a perfection thing. A ton of luck until we next get hit. But I'm not entirely sure. Temporary luck when picked up, plus one luck when entering an unvisited room, minus one luck when entering a visited room. Oh, okay. That's really interesting. So basically, this th this gives us a fuck ton of luck, but if we start backtracking, we lose that luck. Door stop, kind of good. I hate these enemies that do that. Fuck you all. King of oh, there's a fuck. Cursed Penny! How dare you! Also, I've managed to uh, acquire myself a golden Bernie for a hot second there. That was kind of interesting. Can we stop with these guys bimbling about, please? Planetarium. Apparently we missed an item room at one point. I don't remember doing that, but there you go. We got Neptunus. I'm a little scared to lose Neptunus, but we'll uh, we'll take it straight away because I want the extra power. I'm going to say our fire rate right now is pretty abysmal. But having the ability to augment that seems pretty goddamn good. Trying to let it charge it before I fight enemies so I can just unleash a barrage on them. Just 
26 luck. Very interesting ducky item. I don't know what quality it is either. Um, nothing in there really takes my fancy apart from the soul heart. Yeah, you see how we lost a bunch of luck going back and forth in that room there. Broken Murden plus Stunning is like an insane effect to have. And we got Lard, which we do not need. No thanks to the Lard. Wait, is this is this with Golden Bombs broken as hell? Can we just summon a ton of Bernie boys? So far, of the 25% chance, it's not proc'd once yet. So I'm going to imagine that's a big fat no. Sad times. We're down to just 22 luck now. How dare the game do this to us. Yeah, we're definitely low on both damage and... Um, and fire it, really. Yeah, that, our luck's going down and down and down. And this way wasn't even the right way either. That's even more annoying because we're going to lose even more luck on the way back. Don't you dare fart, Mr. Box Boy. Yeah, so now we go back. We'll lose a bunch more luck. You, with the rubber duck, you kind of got to play it right. Otherwise, you don't get to keep much luck at all. We're down to we're down to 17 now, but obviously the amount that we get of it is, is pretty crazy. Either way, our luck is very good. It seems like a pretty strong item. I don't know whether like being a lemma getting with from the last floor had anything to do with its strength. Maybe it like made it better. Good. This thing I can open from a distance here. Kind of nice. I've never really actually played one of these chests to the fullest before. Yeah, I finally went off. I love the little noise it makes. Hey, there's finally a big Bernie. Thank you. Um, Yeah, we'll take that as well, I guess. Can't remember what this one does, but I'll check. Okay, that's kind of good. Breaking through metal blocks sounds pretty intriguing. Sounds like something you don't get to do very often, and I think it would kind of break some rooms. I think that might be one of the only things I've seen in modding that can break metal blocks, which is, yeah, very interesting. Oh, that was a beautiful bomb. Almost cleared up the full room in two bombs. That's just precious. Okay, finally found our boss. Got plenty of bombs to work with here. Still no active to come back to us, though. I right, just don't lose Neptunus here. I have a feeling I'm going to end up losing it, aren't I? I have a feeling. Oh man, the, the, the bombing is just... I'm trying my best to bomb, but... It's so hard to get the timing right. Because you've got to bomb before the, the, the body piece comes up. Dude, we're, our damage and stats and stuff are just really bad. <laughs> like, we've got some cool stuff going on, but... You can see how just, this is an insanely slow mum kill here. Even with golden bombs, which admittedly I'm not doing a great job with, but... There you go. Okay, um, I'll just take the Polaroid for now, I think. And then in here... I think we'll go with that for the extra damage, and we'll just go balls of steel. Balls of steel. Balls of steel. I managed to keep Neptunus at least, I like that. Killing the marked enemy in a room will give us a bunch of extra damage, and it'll last into future rooms. 
which I think is almost a necessity at this point. Back up to full HP here as well. Maybe it doesn't last the future rooms. I thought it did. Either way, plus two damage every room for killing an enemy. It's pretty goddamn useful. Oh god, so many champions. We got the, uh, the the curse with all the champions at the moment. Unfortunately, it's not always easy to kill the the correct enemy first, especially when the regain is goddamn it. Stop reviving yourself, fool. life a bit easier. I say, we've got so many bombs right now, I'm just trying to use them where, where I can. That was a really, really bad hit on my behalf there. But, we can do this and get ourselves an extra boss fight done, I guess. Up to 28 luck now. Yeah, you can de definitely see where our lacking bits are. Although, this guy is getting absolutely annihilated by freezing plus bombs right now. Unfortunately, not an item we really care for pretty much at all, so that was a bit of a bust. So many bombs, I'm trying to use them all wherever I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep Lemon Getting Wisps alive on this floor, but we've only got one and it's for an item we don't particularly care about, so I'm not going to be that sad if we lose it. What am I hoping for out there? So I don't actually know what items this thing can drop. Let's, let's kill all the enemies first, shall we? Make our life a little easier. Neptunus is definitely helping with our low fire rate. It's augmenting it a little bit to make us, our life a little easier. Should have just gone over the spikes there, but I couldn't be asked. Last one. Probably Placenta. Yeah, you get Placenta pretty much every single time from that thing. I think you can get Akeldama as well as the other one. But it seems to be Placenta is the main one that you do end up getting. I think my blast there, my five second blast trinket thing actually saved me then. I think it destroyed a shot that was incoming. Oh, can, can we can we not with constantly spawning these fetus babies? Health down isn't my idea of a good time, thank you. Probably should take the bombs considering how quickly I'm using them all. Can you get out from behind all this bullshit, please? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bomb this just to make some space, because I'm getting annoyed. Error room? Honestly, I'm just gonna error room now. The... Well, this is a bit fucked. I guess pick one without a curse. There you go. That was a bit fucked. But yeah, I don't even care about the boss item or anything. I'm just... <laughs> I just want out. We're on a struggle bus of a run at the moment. I wouldn't say a struggle bus. Health-wise, we are absolutely fine. It's a long... It's just going to be a long run because we can't... Uh, we can't kill things very quickly. Fire it so low. Makes rooms like this an absolute pain in the ass because we just keep spawning stuff. Also, this dude is, is being an absolute fucking tyrant. There you go. Ooh, more luck upgrades. We definitely need that. <sighs> I was really hoping we'd have some sort of fucking money sink here, but sadly it doesn't look like it. I mean, I'll, I'll put some in you. It will most likely give me health rather than mapping. I'd rather have the treasure map. Fanny pack's not bad. Fanny pack's not bad. Not the ideal thing I was looking for, but I'll accept it. Oh god, and then rooms like this as well are just a pain. I don't know what we lost there. It wasn't fanny pack though. It has too much health. Ow. Another luck upgrade. This game's fucking wild. <laughs> I have 36 luck game. I don't think I need any more. That's also a lot of red hearts in that room that we can't do anything with. I'm a little worried about why the... Uh, Icon for killing that enemy with a Mastema thing above its head was just like on the top of a random rock there. I'm not quite sure why that was. Oh, really? I went the wrong way. Did we have to go through this rigmarole of all this distance? It's just slow. Also, we're losing luck. 
Not that I really need any more. This, this duck item seems very overpowered <laughs> in terms of full luck. Like, dude, we've just, was the, the mo we, we lost perfection the moment we picked it up. We just had 20 luck and it's never really gone below 20, so. Or stayed below 20, should I say? Oh, dude. Why you sat on top of a rock, you dildus? Move. Thank you. Keep your tail up for like five seconds, please. Yeah, everything's just frozen constantly with, with the setup we've got going on right now, so... A bit of a weird one. Yeah, use, use bombs whenever, uh, whenever there's reason. Ow. Losing a lot of health here. Ooh, I got a random half black heart there, I like that. Oh, did I get a game crash there? No, I didn't, it just for us. What can you give us a wise chest? More money! <laughs> God damn it. We don't need all this money. I'd like to kill him first, but God knows if I can. I think I did. Yep. Yeah, you can see my damage now. I've got this like fading damage up, so my damage is actually pretty good. Lemon Drops is still making our tears super, super tiny, so it's still kind of hard to believe what damage we actually have. Makes things a little more tricky on these floors. It's hard, a bit harder to... It's kind of weird how used, to, how used to tear size you get as an indicator of damage. Because, like, I'm used to how quickly things will die normally, but now it's it's kind of difficult because it's really a lot harder to gauge. Something that you don't really notice. Also, literally, can we fuck off with all these wrong ways? Like, this this room right here is the starting room. So all of that nonsense was for nothing. This is why I wanted treasure map from the uh, the beggar, because I hate this. <laughs> I absolutely hate going the wrong direction. People that full clear the womb are psychopaths. They need to be locked up. Also, dude, these enemies, can we stop with those, please? 99 cent. God damn it. 99 cent and nothing to do with it. Of course, it wouldn't be the other enemies that spawn with the uh, extra damage thing on them. It's the actual boss. Unfortunately, we lost all of our wisps, but I honestly don't even remember what they were. So, I'm not that bothered. Apart from fanny pack. Really? This is annoying. Thinking of, uh, of setting up a modded Fallout setup soon. I, I oh, after watching the Fallout series, I've not finished it yet, but after watching it so far, I'm 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 like, hmm, I haven't played Fallout 4 in a really long time, and now I have this beefy PC. I bet there's some really cool shit you can do with mods. Like I haven't, I I did mod the game sort of in the first year of its release, but I haven't looked at mods since then. And I imagine there's some really cool shit going on in the modding scenes now, so I should probably look into that. I don't think I've ever seen this attack. Never been, I never had to fight her for this long. Angel deal, please. Please save this run. Um, instantly kill enemies at half the HP, yes. Oh, wait. Dude! Because we don't actually take the items, we get all of them. That's amazing. That's super, super good. I could have re-rolled some of those, but I honestly think all of them were worth taking. So, I really don't mind. The mapping especially, I wanted. But yeah, all of those are like permanent items now. That's... I would never thought about that with this character. That's a really, really cool aspect of this character. Angel deals become so much more valuable when there's multiple items. But enemies dying at half HP literally doubled our damage, so... Essentially. So I feel really good about that, at least. And we've got some way to spend our money here as well, though. Belly button, I guess. Two trinkets, why not? Probably should check out that secret room just in case there's a really good item in it or something. Stop throwing pots at me. You know nobody likes that. Ow. 
Why is it always you on this floor? Why is it always you? Literally, it's never not you on this floor. Dice shard. Oh, we got spin down, baby. Okay, was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. I don't know how much use we'll get out of spin down here, but it's it's definitely a nice addition to the run. And last little bit here. We got golden bombs again. Dude, how did those guys die instantly there? What happened? I'm not quite sure, but I'm happy it happened. Give me those burn pieces, boy. Damage is looking good as well right now. We like that. Cool. Okay. Boss time. Why, when you throw bombs, does sometimes just not go straight? Just go straight. Don't lose spin down. Oh my god, bomb, how'd you go backwards? I don't even understand how that happens. Also, why you gotta sit right next to the poop, man? We could have used that poop. There you go. Got him. To the next floor. See if we can utilize spin down here to get something interesting from our four chests. Tech 2 is pretty good on its own. I think I'll just take Tech 2. Mulligan. Mum's key. Um, well, that's going to spin down to nothing useful. Mulligan's decent. No, actually, spin this spin this down. Uh, yeah, spin all of these down. Oh, wait, one of them spin down into nothing. What happened there? Did I accidentally pick... Ah, I picked it up by accident. We don't take Mulligan. We're going to spin that down again. F future pills... Um, Oh, two layers of wavy cap. No thanks. Right, I have I have a plan, people. I have a plan. You might be able to already see what my plan is, but it's there. Fuck you. We hate you. I just need as many charges as I can for my spin down, please. Dude, every single goddamn time. What's up with these flaws, man? What's up with these flaws? Everything's dying so quick now, it's awesome. <laughs> I very much like that. Glad I got the balloon as well to keep myself healthy enough. We got that. Um, picking up a red heart while at full health. I mean, it's not going to do anything for us, but we'll take it, I guess. You need to go, big boy. Not get stuck in a goddamn corner where I can't shoot you, please. Right, so now we come back over here. We spin down and we get Tough Love. Tough Love. Very, very, very good for us because we have a lot of luck. So we have just tripled our damage. On top of already having essentially doubled it. So our damage is now very, very, very good. Even though our damage numbers aren't the best. Friendly sack's pretty fun. Good, and we got all these wisps protectors as well. I don't know what you guys' little heart things are doing. Oh my lord, yes. This is the life. This is what we've been waiting for, people. Real, real damage. A random book, Mini Isaacs, I don't think so. I mean, I could just take it and have it as a second active, but whatever. Now, I'm not sure if I actually have Bookworm. Did I ever, did I ever, did I ever actually have 
the um, the Anarchist Cookbook, or was that just like in my inventory, but I'd never truly picked it up sort of thing? I'm not sure, quite sure how the game registers, how that works. Lost Soul, I mean, not that we can do anything with it, but we'll take you along for the ride, buddy. Annihilating everything right now. I love it. Spin you down to Celtic Cross, because why not? And absolutely toast your buns. Although, the bun toasting, not quite as toasty as I'd have hoped. I thought you would get absolutely wrecked, but the boss army you have is uh, proving to be quite valuable right now. Three, two, and one. The boss, the, the bombs do go straight through the boss armor he's given, so I'm trying to use those where I can. Unfortunately, let me get him wisps are going left, right, and center now, so I imagine we'll be losing a few things here and there. Uh, at this point, I really don't think it matters. Ow. Ooh, I forgot about this. There you go. That insta-killed him for some reason. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed another entry into the streak, and I'll see you guys in the next one.